We're brewing another beer. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since we've brewed a beer together. Yeah, it has. Too long. Too what long. I, say. I agree. We're doing something different. We're gonna do an extract beer today. Mm -hmm. We're gonna ferment with the log again. The old reliable log. Yeah, so if you yeah. haven't checked out the first log video, make sure to check that out. We're not gonna add any hops to this because we want it to be a little bit more sour mm -hmm. and the hops will limit the ability for the lacto to make it sour. So basically there are three methods of brewing beer, extract, partial mash, and all grain. Today we're gonna be doing a partial mash because we're using some grains and some extract. So here we have one pound of grain. Um, it's made up of Crystal 60, Melanoidin, Aromatic, and Chocolate malt. We're gonna basically get our colors and some flavors from the grains. Um, and these would be like the specialty malts in an all grain beer. And then this would be like your two row in a traditional. Gotcha. So we're using our brewing kit just cause it makes things a lot, it. a lot easier. <laughs> so we got three gallons of water in the kettle heated to 152. So I'm going to just drop this tea bag, let's call it, grains into our three gallons of water. 30 minutes of steeping. Add this stuff, maybe for 10 minutes. Boom. <clears throat> you know, the pros of brewing malt extract is smaller initial investment. Um, less room for error, so if you're a newbie and you're just like, I want to brew a good beer and I want to make sure it's good and not take any risks. Also time saving, obviously, because we're only doing it in an hour. Totally. So, I mean, those are three pretty big benefits. Yeah. It's not as cool. It's not as cool. It's, you can't, you're not going to impress too many girls being like. I'm not going to impress any chicks. No. I mean, if I came out and was like, hey, Rachel, <laughs> I brewed an extract beer. I dumped some extract into water yeah. today. I'm very talented. Would you be into that? I mean. It's fine. Yeah, I agree it's, with that. It it's is fine. whatever you're into. One of the main limitations would be just like styles. You can't brew, brew every style. Yeah, you can't get super creative on this. It's just kind of a basic way to do it. Yeah, so if you haven't brewed extract or it's been a while, um, there's a couple variations of the extract. So you got your liquid malt extract, which is what we're using today. Mm -hmm. And we're using what, golden light and a little bit of amber malt. Kind of want to taste it. Do it. Ooh, put that in some tea, honestly. That would be good in tea. Man. That's really good. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I mean, it's a bit lighter. It is a little bit lighter. But. Definitely tastes different. That one has a little bit more of a street honey vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're done steeping our grains in our mini mash. We'll just call it that. Um, so I'm gonna remove the green bag. I'm gonna just let the last little. I give it a little squeeze too. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little. I'm gonna give it a little squeeze. Ooh, so satisfying. So we have our little concentrate here, um, and now we are going to add the malt extract. Look how fancy! Ooh. Ooh, look at that. So now we're just adding the second um, extract. It's the CBW Golden Light. We're good to go. So I've poured both of my malt extracts into the wort and I just wanna make sure they're dissolved because they are it's like dissolving honey in hot water. Since so we're not doing a boil, we're gonna heat this up to 172 to pasteurize it. So the great thing about an easy brew day like we had today is you have so much free time to work on your hobbies. For example, bongo playing. So as you can see, there's plenty of time to work on extracurricular activities while you're waiting for your water to heat up. So we're up to 172 degrees um, and our wort is now pasteurized. So we're going to turn the heat element off and get this into a bucket. So we're gonna add two gallons of cold water to our wort. Oh yeah, she's a foamer. She's a foamer. So I'm gonna start sand this temperature gauge and then Dunker in. 
pretty warm. What do we want it down to? 60s. Well, Rachel, we took a little break. We did. After adding the water, we were still a little bit high. Temperature-wise. Temperature-wise, not mentally. <laughs> we were still a little we bit. We weren't smoking the weed. A little bit high. Um, we literally just threw it in the chest freezer for a couple hours while we ran air and did some work. And it's chilled down the high 60s. So cool. we're gonna add the yeast. We're gonna just go ahead and aerate it again. All right. Whoa. Whoa. We got a squirter. <laughs> All right. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. It's just a bag full of sanitized uh, tri clamps. You wanna go ahead and put the log in, I'm just gonna put this over the log to keep it submerged. Oh, I see, we're drowning it. We're drowning it. He only gave us a couple rules, and the main one was just make sure the log stays submerged. Okay, that Otherwise makes sense. Otherwise you can get mold. I was like, why are you, okay. Good night, sweet log. Sweet dreams. If you want to airlock up. So that was oh. probably the easiest brew day. Five. We're gonna ferment this at 66 degrees. After three days, we'll remove the log and let fermentation continue for two to three weeks. Rachel. Emmett. Cheers. Cheers. We brewed this a while ago. Yeah, it's like a, a month ago, at least. <clears throat> it's in the keg. It is. Let's drink it. Okay. What are we calling this, Emmett? Well, it's a brown beer. Fermented with a log. What do you think? Kyle's brown log. Kyle's brown log. That's what we're calling it. Perfect. Perfect. Smell? What do you think of the smell? A little bit like <clears throat> nutty. Earthy? Earthy. I don't really get too much, maybe a little cocoa or something, but. Tiny bit. Tiny like, bit. Earthiness is More earthy. probably like the only thing that, like descriptor I can come yeah. up with. Not too bitter smelling. Mm -mm. No bitterness, no hops. Mm. Since there's no hops, there's yeah. no bitterness. That makes sense. It's not super complex, but it's drinkable. I could crush a few of these, I think, yeah. you know. I mean, but for you, that's not <laughs> really crush. It doesn't really things. say much, and my standards no. are <laughs> not the highest. For Jenny, me, I have pretty high standards. I could drink like one of these. Yeah, it's better. It's kind of sweet. It is sweet, and I think this finished around 10.10, which is pretty much where all of our beers finish. Yeah. But the perceived sweetness on this is like, Way sweeter than it's beers. It's really sweet. I don't know if that's due to the extract. And the hops would would tone that down a I little bit. I think so. It's just not balanced yeah. in that regard. Yeah. You definitely get some yeast character coming through. Mm -hmm. A little kind of spicy a little bit. It's not offensive. Mm -mm. It's not great. It's nowhere near as good as obviously that the first log beer. Yeah. It'll get drank. Yeah. Best way to put it. <laughs> Main reason I wanted to brew the beer was to save the yeast. Mm -hmm. um, there's another video that will come out shortly where we wash the yeast and harvest the yeast so we will have the yeast going forward so thanks for watching yeah this was fun yeah good to see you guys cheers emmett all right happy friday oh thank god <laughs>